Uh, in this video, I'm going to uh, discuss about uh, how to write the equation of a line. Uh, if you have got the equation of a line, uh, you can draw the line, but here we're going to do the reverse order. That means you've got the line and you want to write the equation of that line from the graph. Okay, so yeah, uh, one of the most popular or uh, most used form uh, of equation of a line is this formula where y is equal to mx plus c. Okay, uh, in some books you may have y is equal to ax plus b. They all mean the same thing. Okay, but I'll use this mx plus c where m is called the gradient where m is the gradient and gradient is defined as the rise over run okay now rise okay and c is called the y intercept y c is called the y intercept in other words where your line uh, where the graph of your line intersects the y-axis is called y-intercept. So let me explain what I mean. Suppose let me draw, this is your y-axis and this is your x-axis. Say this is your y <coughs> and this is your x. Okay, so let me draw a line, an arbitrary line, suppose a line, something going like this. Okay, and uh, let me take, suppose this is change color suppose this is say 2 on the y-axis uh, and this is say this is say 5 it's not drawn to scale 5 comma 6 this point is 5 comma that means this point this is your 5 on the this is 5 and this is this is not drawn to scale okay uh, so what I'm saying is this point is 5 on the x-axis and this is 6 on the y. This doesn't look good. I'll delete this. Uh, let me make this bigger. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so if you draw, suppose what I'm saying is this is this is 6 on the y-axis. So this point is called phi 6. Okay, <clears throat> now to write the equation, now gradient is, in other words, it's also called the slope. In some books it's also called, called the slope. So gradient tells us the steepness of the line. Okay, now to find the steepness of a line, this is the formula that we use, but in simple language it shows you uh, whether it is uh, it's going up or down. Now, how do you define up or down? Now, if you look at this line, this line from the left, when you're looking from the left to the right, it's sloping up. So here, this has a positive gradient. Okay, so if a line is sloping up from left to right, you say it has a positive gradient. Okay. So now to find the gradient of this line, so what you do is you join these, so let me uh, delete this. Let me delete this first. Okay. Now to find the slope of this line, what you do is you join these, any two points that you have got. So what I mean is this is one point, this point you can say is uh, this of course is y intercept so you can see this point is as a coordinate it is 2 comma 0 so to find the gradient you join this two points with a right angle triangle okay so this is I'll try my oops this is you join it with a right angle triangle okay so here yeah, this is called your run this is your run and this is your rise. Okay, now the run can be positive or negative. So let me write what do I mean. So if the run 
is to the right this is called a positive run the run can be to the left in some cases of course then we say the run is negative what about rise rise is up or down okay so if the rise is up it is a positive rise and if the rise is down it is negative so these are the conventions that we need to understand before we write what's the gradient so if the run is to the right this is to the right uh, it's a positive run okay and if it is to the left if you're moving to the left it is negative okay now yeah this is your run this is your run and this is your rise now the run is two so how much have we run we have run from we are running horizontally so this is your zero okay and this is your five so we have run five to the right so we'll say the run is plus five you don't need to write plus five so but i'm writing plus five to explain that we are moving to the right and how much you have risen or what's the rise so the rise is from two to six the rise is from two to six so the rise is up so you're rising up how many you're rising up four so you see the rise is plus four okay so your gradient so let me change color so the gradient in this case gradient is rise over run so rises i'm writing just four now four over five which is nothing but eight over ten which is 0 0.8 okay and what's your so this is your m which is your gradient your C, which is your y-intercept, is 2. Okay, your, this is your y-intercept. So the equation of this line is y is equal to 0.8x plus 2. You could have also written y is equal to 4 fifth x or 4, 4 fifth x plus 2. They both mean the same thing. Okay, so what happens if it is line like this so let me uh, show you a different situation say you've got a line somewhat like this okay so yeah this point we know is a seven and say this point is a this is not drawn to scale so this is three and say this is four so this point I'm saying is three comma this point is three comma four okay so now we want to find the equation of this line so what we do is you join it by uh, right angle triangle okay so now let me go backwards here now you may think why did I join from year to year what happened so let me explain that uh, what happens okay let me delete this what happens if you say okay what happens if someone joins from year to year okay so the arrow is like this the arrow is going from year to year oops i don't need to change this so let me change the direction of the arrow if some student has joined these two they he has gone like this he has gone down and then he has gone to the left what will happen would the gradient change let's see okay so the question is the situation is the same line but instead of going from year to year the student has gone from this point to this point so he has gone down first and then gone to the left so what will be the rise rise is negative because it's the, the, st the student or we, or we are going down now so how much down we are going from six to four so you're going down negative four and what's your run you're running to the left from five to two so oh sorry from five to zero you're running to the left so it's minus five okay so your gradient is minus four over minus five which is nothing but four over five okay so i'll show that in the calculator see menu run so 4 divided by 5 is 0.8 if you go minus 4 divided by minus 5 
oops, minus 4 divided by minus 5 would also give you 8. Okay, so it doesn't matter how you're joining the points. You're going from the left to the right or right to left, but you should understand how you're going. If you're going from left to right, your run would be positive and your rise would be positive. But if you're going from right to left, from this point to this point, your rise would be negative and your run would also be negative. Okay, so in this case, you've got two points. You want to join these two points. So let us join it from year to year. So this is your this is your run and this is your rise. Okay. Now before finding the gradient, by just looking at by just looking at the uh, line, you can see whether the gradient is positive or negative. When you're looking at a, uh, at a line, you're looking from left to right. That's a convention. From left to right, what's happening to the line? Is it going down or up? It's going down, so we see the gradient has to be negative. Yeah, let me again repeat here. From left to right, the line is sloping up. So it has got a positive slope or a positive gradient. Okay, so here, let me change color. So what's the run here? Okay, so suppose let us talk about the rise. Is the rise, okay, so you're going, the rise is positive or negative? So you're going up. You're going up, so the rise is positive. So the rise, this point, you're rising from 4 to 7, so your rise is 3. And your run, this is your run, this is your run, so run is to the left you're run, running to the left so your run has to be negative so you're running from 3 to 0 so your gradient so your run would be negative 3 so m which is your gradient would be rise over run is rise over run which is 3 over minus 3 which is negative 1. And what's your y-intercept? Your y-intercept is, have I made any mistake, from 4 to 7, the rise is 3, and from 3 to 0, uh, your, run, your run is negative 3. That's right. So the gradient, sorry, the y-intercept C is 7. So the equation of this line is minus 1x plus 7 or y is equal to minus x plus 7. Okay, so this is the convention that we're talking about. So let us do one example that I already uh, prepared for you. So this is a graph of a straight line. So this line is passing through 0, 2. This point is 0, 2. Okay, and this point is 1, 3. So what I would do is I would uh, watch the run. Okay, so this is your run, and this is your rise. Okay, so what's your run? Run is from 0 to 1. So your run is 1, and what's your rise? Rise is from 2 to 3. It's you're going up. Okay, your run is positive because your your run is positive because you're going to the right from 0 to 1. And your rise is positive because again you're going from 2 to 3, so which is 1. So m, which is your gradient, it's always good to write the formula. Gradient is rise over run. Okay, now before that, as I told you, it's always good practice to first decide whether the gradient is, is positive or negative. From the left to the right, it is going up. So the gradient has to be positive. And it does make sense because it's 1 over 1, which is 1. M, sorry, C, which is your y-intercept, is this point. Okay, so this uh, y-intercept is 2. So the equation of this line is 1x plus 2. Or in simple, you don't need to write the 1, so it's x plus 2. Now I'll show you how to check this on a calculator. If you have a graphic calculator, go to your run menu and type in 
y1 is equal to x plus 2 just like that and then this is your graph so let me make this scale smaller you can go to initial scale and you can see um, so to confirm this point you go g solve y intercept so y intercept is 0 2 and to confirm this point you go g solve and then you can go y calc so they're asking you what's your x value so x value is 1 so it will, it will tell me the y value so when x is 1 y is 3 so we have confirmed that the equation of this line is right i will do a few more i got this question i, I want you to do this yourself uh, this is the next question i want to do three questions in the next video but i would like you to do it yourself first so see these uh, questions you can do this yourself and uh, i'll give out the uh, give the solution in the next video see you in the next